Hi, I'm Nina McVeigh. And I'm Haley Grish. And I want to show you our Bernina ruler foot. This is the number 72 adjustable ruler foot. Of course, designed to do ruler work on the domestic machine, which we know is all the rage. Everybody wants to do ruler work. And this is the perfect foot. I want to show you the adjustability of this foot. It is made to use on all of our uh, current Bernina machines, but we also have the adjustability not just for the machines, but also for batting. So you can see here I have three different lofts of batting. Every quilter has their favorite, and sometimes we use different lofts for different reasons. So first of all, I'm going to put the foot on the machine. Um, there's quite a bit of room between the bottom of the foot and the bed of the machine. Of course, this is a free motion technique, so I need to lower my feed dogs. And I am going to slide my loftiest batting underneath here, and I'm going to lower the foot. For this particular loft of batting, uh, the foot is actually well adjusted. I don't have to do anything. But again, this is pretty lofty. Most people don't use a batting quite that high. So as I put this batting underneath, I can see I've got way too much room. I'm going to use the dial on the side of the foot, and I can dial that down so the bottom of the foot will come down and just touch the surface of the fabric. I can still move this very, very freely underneath the foot, but the foot isn't too high. And then, of course, if I go to the very low loft cotton batting, I'm going to need to lower this even more. It's important that I do this adjustment with the foot down because I, I have no way of knowing where the bottom of the foot is when the foot is up. Right. So I've adjusted the foot for the different types of batting. The side of this foot may look a little different just because it's got this high ridge and this is called the fence of the foot. And that fence is really there to keep the ruler out keeps it out from running in underneath the foot and away from the needle. Yeah, if you accidentally get one of those under your needle, <laughs> you're going to need a new needle. <laughs> At least a new needle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is also considered a half inch foot, so it is a totally uh, half inch circle. So obviously the center of that circle means that the edge of the foot is a quarter of an inch away from the needle in 360 degrees. I can use my ruler all the way around the outside edge of this foot. To start with a ruler foot, I like to lower my needle where I'm going to start stitching. And then, of course, the foot is down. Then I can slide my ruler up to the foot. For me, that's um, a safety. It yeah. keeps me from making a mistake and sliding the ruler under the foot. And I'm going to hold the ruler in place and just guide along the edge of the ruler. And of course, this is uh, just a straight edge ruler, but I can use it in all sorts of directions. So if I wanted to stop and move in a different direction, I can do that. I can come around to this side and do that. And you can see I'm, I'm having to move my ruler and my fabric at the same time. And whether you're doing a pattern or you're just doing um, some fun designs with straight stitching against a ruler, the ruler is just that guide to keep you going straight or in whatever shape the ruler is. For those of us who aren't professional quilters, this is going to be a lifesaver. This perfects <laughs> free motion stitching. So for more information about the adjustable ruler foot number 72, visit your local Bernina dealer today.